This week, Obscure Characters Month continues with a look at the story behind one of the earliest and most puzzling obscure bots there is. These are the basics on the little yellow Autobot, no, not that one, Bumper. The toy that Transformers fans would come to call Bumper was first released in Japan in 1983 as part of the MicroChange toy line. It transformed into a super-deformed Mazda Familia. It was available in red, yellow, and blue, and shared the same basic engineering as the Volkswagen and Porsche toys from the same series. The Volkswagen and Porsche were imported by Hasbro in 1984 and released as part of the first year of the Transformers toy line, becoming Bumblebee and Cliffjumper, respectively. But the Mazda wasn't brought over to be part of this new series. Or was it? In 1984, a limited number of yellow Mazda toys were unexpectedly released by Hasbro in Cliffjumper's packaging. To this day, we still don't know how or why this happened. This release of the toy was never officially acknowledged, and the Mazda wasn't given a new Transformers character name, or profile, or artwork. Even the stickers decorating the figure were the same as those used on Cliffjumper. It just showed up one day without explanation and disappeared the next year, making it one of the rarest figures from the first year of the series. One telling detail, though, was that it did sport the new copyright stamp that was added to Transformers toys, which wasn't on the MicroChange figures, meaning that it wasn't just old leftover Japanese stock repackaged. So, did Hasbro plan to release the Mazda as its own separate character, only to change their minds and have to put out the few that they'd produced in this unusual way? Or did a mistake at the factory lead to a run of Mazdas being accidentally switched out for a run of cliffjumpers? It's a mystery Transformers fans have pondered for years. But they did agree on one thing. They needed a name to call this rare bot. Operating on the mistaken belief that the toy had been found in both Cliffjumper and Bumblebee packaging, fans took to referring to the Mazda with the composite name Bumblejumper, which was later shortened to just Bumper. Whatever the story behind the Mazda's brief unexplained Hasbro release, the toy was officially licensed by Brazilian company Estrella and got a proper release in the Brazilian version of the Transformers toy line in 1985. Estrella named the figure Sedan and released it in its own dedicated packaging, with unique artwork in the classic Transformers style, and even a profile, which characterized Sedan as a strategist with highly developed logical reasoning abilities and a cunning, cold-blooded personality. The toy was initially available in both white and blue, and later re-released in yellow and green, with a new sticker that marked Sedan as a member of the Estrella original heroic faction, the Optimus. After years of being little more than a weird curiosity, Bumper joined the Transformers universe for real in 2004, when the character, using the name that fans had given him, made his first in-story appearance in Dreamwave Productions comic books. In Dreamwave stories, Bumper was an inexperienced but dedicated young rookie Autobot who came to Earth as part of a unit led by Bumblebee. While working with the Human Earth Defense Command to root out an infestation of Insecticons, Bumper was captured and experimented upon by Bombshell, but he was able to escape and save the other Autobots by using one of Bombshell's mind-controlling Cerebro shells to fry the villain's brain. That said, the story heavily implied that there was something fishy going on with Bumper, and that maybe his heroic victory wasn't all it appeared to be. But Dreamwave went out of business just a few issues later, and the dangling plot thread would never be resolved. Still, thanks to Dreamwave, Bumper was now a real, official part of the world of the Transformers, which led to him appearing in other series. In 2007, he was featured in the IDW publishing comic book miniseries Megatron Origin as a member of the Autobot security forces in the era before the war. This story saw Bumper and fellow Autobot Fastback tasked with staking out the suspected location of the Decepticons' next illegal underground meeting. 
Unfortunately for the pair, Megatron himself was among the first to arrive at the location. The Decepticon leader quickly detected their presence and killed them both. The story of Bumper's death at the hands of Megatron would also be adapted into the 2010 novel Transformers Exodus, and the moment was even immortalized in 3D as part of the 2013 Transformers pop-up book. Bumper's new higher profile would even see him make the jump to television when both he and his Brazilian counterpart Sedan cameoed as background characters in Transformers Animated in 2009. Most recently, Bumper's been appearing in IDW's new, rebooted comic book universe. These new stories blend his past characterizations together, depicting him as a young and inexperienced member of Cybertron's security forces in the pre-war era. The poor little guys had a rough time of it in the comics so far, having been hypnotized by Mindwipe and forced to attack his commanding officer Prowl during a botched raid on an underground gambling den and severely wounded by Clench amidst the security forces' efforts to rescue prisoners being held by the Decepticons. To date, Bumper has still never received a true official Transformers toy, but take a close look at the recently announced War for Cybertron buzzworthy Bumblebee figure. While its robot mode is definitely everyone's favourite little yellow Autobot, its vehicle mode is a near-perfect match for the original bumper, right down to replicating sticker details. Maybe that means that one day this toy might be retooled to give us a brand new bumper figure, but for now, it stands as an homage to one of the very first, and still most mysterious, obscure Transformers. And those are the basics on Bumper. Are you old enough to have found a Bumble Jumper in package back in the day? Or maybe you were first introduced to him in comics? Let me know in the comments. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for more of Obscure Characters Month.